I now call upon the Vice-Chancellor, Professor Nick Saunders, to present a candidate for an honorary degree. <laughs> Chancellor, I have great pleasure in presenting to you Margaret Mort for admission to the degree of Doctor of Health, Honoris Causa. Chancellor, born in London at the end of World War I, Margaret came to Australia as a small baby when her parents ended their war service. She was schooled in Sydney and studied art and design at East Sydney Technical College. At the end of her studies, she went to Melbourne as a teacher at a private school for girls, and it was here that she met Major Joyce Keane, an army officer and one of Australia's first occupational therapists. Major Keane recruited Margaret as an occupational therapy aide, an opportunity which allowed her to use her training in arts and crafts while satisfying her long-held desire to serve in the army. Excelling in this role, Margaret rose through the ranks of the Australian Army, eventually being selected as one of six women to be trained as occupational therapists under the sponsorship of the Australian Physiotherapy Association. Once trained, Margaret Moore dedicated herself to treating soldiers injured in the war, drawing on fundamental principles of occupational therapy practice. She went beyond the goals of physical restoration and work retraining to involve patients in their recovery in meaningful ways, enco encouraging contributions to a hospital newspaper as well as links back to the soldiers' civilian and family lives. During postings in Queensland, New South Wales and Western Australia, Margaret worked with soldiers suffering from injuries, tuberculosis and the effects of prisoner of war camps, always emphasising the importance of engaging soldiers through activities tailored to their circumstances and their condition. At the end of the war, she was discharged from the Army and decided to pursue further knowledge and skills in the United Kingdom. During her time in Britain, Margaret was introduced to working with geriatric patients, an area which she knew little about at the time, but one which has become an enduring interest for her. She took up a position at the Cowley Road Hospital and worked to rehabilitate severely disabled or other institutionalised patients. The importance and success of this work was recognised internationally and formed the basis of Margaret's ongoing work when she returned to Australia to settle in Newcastle in 1959. Working with other pioneers in the field, <coughs> Margaret consolidated the occupational therapy services at the William Lyne Geriatric Retraining Unit at the Royal Newcastle Hospital and remained there until her retirement in 1979. Throughout this period, Margaret's commitment to the well-being of patients and willingness to explore new ideas meant that she did not rest on her professional laurels. She was instrumental in the development of the Newcastle Method, which relies on a team approach to patient care. It emphasises the need for a consistent approach and common understanding among all health professionals involved in the patient's care, including the patient themselves and family members. By focusing on what patients can do rather than what they can't do, Margaret Mort was able to use the method to build a relationship of trust and develop a sense of shared responsibility for rehabilitation. Over the years, Margaret Mort's work has been widely recognised as she was appointed as a member of the British Empire for her services to occupational therapy. She's also written a book detailing her professional philosophies and practices, which has been published in the UK and Australia. Margaret Mort is held in the highest regard by her peers and her patients, as she has improved the quality of life for many people and allowed them to remain in their homes and in employment as long as possible. She has also promoted a more positive view of older people with severe disabilities by emphasising what they are capable of achieving. Chancellor, it is with great pleasure that I present to you Margaret Mort, Member of the British Empire, for admission to the degree of Doctor of Health Honoris Causa. <laughs> Thank you.
By the authority delegated in me by the Council, I hereby admit Margaret Mort to the degree of Doctor of Health Honoris Causa.